Hello, this is Samarth Hayush and Utsar. Today, we will be explaining the FM receiver circuit. Starting from the outside and working our way to the radio output, the antenna design and engineering is the first step. The dimensions and orientation of the antenna elements can be optimized for a particular frequency or frequency band and polarization of radio wave. As an everyday example, the radio antenna from a car wouldn't work very well if used for a Wi-Fi router due in part to this principle. After the radio waves have been received on the antenna and travelled down the antenna cable to the radio unit, it's common to have a filter as the first component. These further filters the selection work started by the antenna design and create resistance for any radio wave that aren't in range it's designed to allow. They can be analog or digital. The selected frequency is applied to the mixer. The output of an oscillator is also applied to the mixer. The mixer and oscillator form a frequency changer circuit. The output from the mixer is the intermediate frequency. The IF is a fixed frequency of 10.7 MHz. No matter what the frequency of the selected radio station is, the IF is always 10.7 MHz. The IF signal is fed into the IF amplifier. The advantage of the amp IF amplifier is that its frequency and bandwidth are fixed no matter what the frequency of the incoming signal is. This makes the design and operation of the amplifier much simpler. The amplified IF signal is fed to the demodulator. This circuit recovers the audio signal and discards the RF carrier. Some of the audio is fed back to the oscillator as an automatic frequency control voltage. This ensures that the oscillator frequency is stable in spite of temperature changes. The audio signal voltage is increased in amplitude by a voltage amplifier and then the power li level is increased sufficiently to drive the loudspeaker by the power amplifier. So this is the actual FM radio receiver circuit. Here, Q1 acts as a preamp extension of the frequency VHF range wider or, a, or the RF amplifier, which selects a band of frequencies from the incoming signal and amplifies them. We may remove Q1, then connect the antenna at C4, but then the sensitivity of the circuit will decrease. The principle of this circuit is to use the generator frequency circuit or the oscillator circuit which consists of Q2 and Q3 to produce a frequency synced with the frequency that has been derived from Q1. We can adjust C5 in the frequency generator circuit to control the frequency from 87 MHz to 108 MHz and to sync the frequency of the generator with that of the incoming signal. The frequency modulation of the incoming signal to the intermediate frequency occurs across VR1 plus R5. The output of low pass filter circuit or the demodulator which consists of R6 and C6 lies in the audible range. Then the output is amplified by Q4 and C6 and enters C9. Once the signal has made it through the filter, common radio units do several steps to clean up the signal and perhaps convert it to an IF or intermediate frequency so that it travels better on the internal circuit boards into the radio unit. One common way to isolate the exact frequency you want is to use an oscillator to multiply the carrier frequency you are targeting. For example, let's say you tune an old radio knob to 93.5 MHz. To do this, let's go back to the above circuit. Here the capacitance of C5 is changed such that the natural frequency of the LCR oscillator circuit is in resonance with the 93.5 MHz signal. Let the frequency of the input signal to the multiplier be omega c. Then the input from the oscillator to the mixer will have a frequency of omega c plus minus omega if. The multiplier multiplies the two signal so that we get two signals one with the frequency omega if and another with the frequency 2 omega c plus minus omega if. The second signal is rejected by the if amplifier and only omega if is amplified and passed on. This reference signal is then used by the radio receiver to help it identify and strengthen any radio waves coming from the antenna at the 93.5 MHz frequency. It lets it know what to listen for and like a child discerning their parents voice in a noisy room. So then the radio will hear the station because it knows what it's looking for. Thank you.